Hey, this is Produce with Pamela for Blue Book Services, and I am channeling my inner 80s baby and hanging out in a cabbage patch. This is a farm just a couple of miles south of Donna, Texas, and uh, we're out here harvesting cabbage that is destined to go all over the country, typically west of the Mississippi, just because of freight. It's a pretty quick process to harvest cabbage. Um, they use conveyor belts to help make the harvest process a little easier on the, the folks out here who are harvesting because it is kind of backbreaking work because you've got to get down here and um, with a sharp knife and pull just the right size of head of cabbage. That's actually too small. Um, they haven't been through this, this row yet, um, but they have to have just the right size, throw it up into the truck and then the conveyor belt takes it over into the trailer to take it to the packing shed. Thanks to the weather here in South Texas, they are able to get three crops a year out of one of these fields. And this is another uh, field right next to the, the green cabbage that we saw just a second ago. This is Savoy cabbage. If you haven't had Savoy cabbage, you need to try it because it's one of my favorites. I like it and Napa cabbage better than I like green cabbage actually. So let's take a look yeah, at Look it. at these heads. These heads are, they have these leaves with the veins in the back and it's a kind of a curly leaf versus flat leaf like, like you'd see in spinach. Savoy cabbage tends to be sweeter than uh, green cabbage. So if you want a, a nice salad cabbage, this is the one that you really should go for. Um, so here's a fun cabbage fact that you may not know about the way the cabbage grows. As it matures, it gets more and more dense on the inside. So if you have the weather just right, or it's a variety that's prone to this, if it's cold and it heats up too quickly, and you touch it, it'll explode. <laughs> or if the, when, you, when you're out here really early in the morning, you can actually hear cabbage popping um, when it's gotten too dense and the weather's uh, cold enough to cause that to happen. So here's what it looks like when a cabbage has popped. So here's some purple cabbage. You can tell um, based on the way that the leaves look. They're a little washed out looking on the outer leaves, but that happens in uh, most brassicas. It looks lighter. See, look, when you actually get closer to it, but here's what cabbage looks like when it pops. It'll, it'll explode in the field. Um, and that's when it actually gets too dense for its size and uh, weather conditions are just right. Maybe it's a little chilly outside and it'll go pop and break open. And just so you can understand just how big cabbage gets, this is the leaf that was closest to the head. That's how big a cabbage leaf can get. And actually this is really tasty. It's just not feasible to get it to market because it'll bruise up and be all scarred. Where's it going? Is it going? They picked already. 